What's up guys? Uh, welcome to a one-off video about the YouTube monetization changes as you can tell from the title of this video. Um, there's been a little bit of uh, uneasiness I suppose going on uh, with YouTube right now and I think it started obviously with the adpocalypse in 2017 and there was a whole lot of issues there. They changed the algorithm, made it very hard to uh, stay monetized. Um, which for us at the time didn't really matter. We were not monetized. We're still technically not. We're under the, the original threshold. Um, at the time, that was 10,000 views. If you got to 10,000 views, you could then monetize through AdSense and, and Google AdWords and all that. And you could start making a little bit of money off of your videos. Now, it's not a lot. Um, very, very little, in fact, just off of ad revenue. But uh, that's sort of that was our sort of goal for potentially this year was to sort of hit that that ten thousand view uh, count. Um, so we're obviously a small channel for us. It it didn't really impact us too much with the adpocalypse, but it did make it a little worrisome when it came to uh, hopefully getting to that ten thousand view threshold. Um, now though. YouTube, as of, I believe, last night, uh, I'm not sure exactly what time this happened, but basically they changed their monetization policy, and there's a few other things that are important, but I think the key point that people are taking away from this is uh, instead of that 10,000 view threshold, you now have to have 1,000 subscribers, uh, which is hard enough to reach, and second, you have to have, excuse me, 4,000 total hours of watch time. Now that doesn't mean that you have to have videos totaling 4,000 hours of content. That just means people have to have watched your content for 4,000 hours, uh, which is a lot. Um, as of right now, we stand at a mark. As far as subscribers go, we're under the 200 mark. Uh, again, not many. Uh, we do appreciate all the people that have subscribed and we've been seeing a little bit of a steady increase, which is fantastic uh, and we greatly appreciate that. On top of that, our view count is roughly at 5,000, uh, which isn't much. Uh, this is all public information, so it's not a big deal to, to share this in a video. You guys can see all this stuff. So um, we thought for a little while that we were doing fairly well. We were getting a lot more views. We were trying to stream a little bit, just doing, you've seen probably the Pokemon stream just for the fun of it, uh, as well as a few other streams like Winston Drafts, things like that. Um, and we have plans to do more streams in the near future. Uh, we want to bring people like Andrew back. Uh, we have a new friend of ours who would like to join the group. Uh, I'll save that intro for when we do that. Uh, Parks, obviously, has been uh, in and out. <coughs> and he's been doing a lot of... He he wants to stream, but he's not able to. And so we're kind of losing viewership or view counts on that. Um, but again, that's not really his, his fault. He can't do anything about that, unfortunately. So... We're in this position where we're tr we were trying to get these view counts and trying to get up to that 10,000 threshold. We thought we were doing well. We hit about the halfway mark, and then this happened, uh, which is a bit annoying. Uh, it's, I think, you know, for us, we're a small-time channel. It's a little bit disheartening because it sets that threshold a lot higher. It's much more difficult to reach that. Um, hopefully, we will eventually, but I don't think that's really our goal anymore. Our goal is, uh, you know really from the start has always been to just do this because we enjoy doing this and hopefully other people do. But um, we always sort of in the back of our heads had the little goal of, hey, let's get to that 10,000 view mark. Let's monetize. Let's be able to say we're a YouTube partner. Now it makes it a lot harder. Um, so I don't know. It's still a long, long term goal. Uh, I think that's not going to change, but I think it's more of when it happens, it happens. Um, I think on a larger scale, not looking at us, looking at just YouTube content creation in general, uh, this makes it a lot more difficult for small type YouTube channels like us, uh, but really anybody who's trying to make a YouTube channel becomes a lot more difficult um, because to really get to that threshold, you have to put in so much effort and so much work. Um, and some people, those who are very gung-ho about it, I don't think this will really affect them that much. I think eventually they're going to get there and that's going to be great. Um, and for those people, well-deserved, I think that's fantastic. Um, I think for people who are more on the hobby level with YouTube and just kind of want to, you know, just kind of have one and maybe upload occasionally and as they see fit, upload a video or something like that, um, it's, I don't think it's really going to happen for those people. Which is unfortunate. Um, <laughs> I think anybody should, which YouTube will 
well, back on this end, you know, I think we should always be able to post whatever content we'd like and make sure that we do the things that we want to do and, and, and put our content out there. And YouTube will always be a platform for that, or at least in the foreseeable future, which is fantastic. But um, to, to turn that hobby then into either a profession or at least a subsidized sort of way of income, uh, I think that's, that's probably not going to happen as much anymore. Um, I would say my takeaway from all of this is, um, you know, obviously it's going to be a lot harder to monetize, but if you enjoy what you're doing on YouTube, then keep doing it. Um, I watched a video from Boogie. Uh, if you don't know Boogie, I think everybody on YouTube should. Um, but he did a video on the change, and um, his take on it was similar that, you know, it's it makes it a lot tougher for small-time YouTube channels. I think it makes it a little bit better for the big time, the 1% si side of things, because there's less people pulling from that ad revenue pool, uh, which if you don't know, basically the ads work. It's there, everybody who wants to advertise throws in these advertisements, and then the algorithm spits them out on certain videos. Well, if it's doing that with less videos, then the ad money is going more to that top percentage. Uh, so it's a little bit different now. It's a little bit annoying. Uh, it's very, very frustrating, to be honest. Uh, a little bit disheartening. But I think the takeaway for this is if you do enjoy YouTube, we enjoy YouTube, so we're going to keep doing it. I think you guys should absolutely keep doing it, too. Um, I think using it as a subsidiary platform for whatever your brand may be uh, is fantastic. And I think now more than ever, it's going to be more important to have social media el elsewhere in the way of Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all of those things, uh, and being very, very integrated with all of them. And so my suggestion, if you enjoy YouTube, keep doing it, but do not expect money out of it. Uh, I don't know if it's really gonna happen. Uh, but for us, uh, as far as you know, our YouTube channel is concerned, if anybody was worried about it, which I have no clue if anybody would be, but um, we absolutely still plan to keep doing what we're doing. Um, again, it was a long-term goal for us, but we're not going to let that just kind of push us away from the YouTube platform. We just enjoy doing this. So hopefully you guys still enjoy our content. Hopefully you guys will continue to support, which you guys have been fantastic uh, so far. So thank you for that. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, make sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Uh, and if you do want to see all of our other content, make sure to subscribe and you can turn that bell on if you want to receive notifications for everything. So Thanks for watching, guys. This has been a little one-off video, but I hope it was informative. We'll see you in the next one.